All right, Jim, our guide. What do you think of Bahal Palooza? <laughs> this is the All of Bahal tour, part one. Yeah. Spectacular, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> strawberry farm here up in the hinterlands of Bahal. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Uh, yeah, entrance. entrance Turkey. nice view <laughs> okay we nice have view. arrived at the organic strawberry farm here uh in uh, what is the name of the mayana Hagna. mayana yeah near hagna okay in bahal and uh this is uh 2690 feet uh, above sea level here which is around the highest peak of the island of bahal allowing them to grow strawberries here but what did they tell us about the strawberries down at the office there honey you didn't see nothing. When we asked them if they had any strawberries here, what did they tell us? Yeah, uh, all of the stuff. <laughs> yeah, they're all sold out. <laughs> there's, there's those strawberries here. <laughs> I mean, come on. You didn't expect it to be strawberries at the strawberry you farm. Do. Yeah, so we're going to go and we're going to take a look at the view here. But this is the uh, first leg of our uh, journey that we call, do you remember what we call it? Bohol store. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Bohalapalooza. <laughs> Bulpalooza. <laughs> what is it, honey? Bulpalooza. What is ba it? Bahalapalooza. Okay. So this is the All of Bahal, <laughs> All of Bahal tour called Bahalapalooza, folks. Stay mm -hmm. tuned. You're a plant expert. Yeah. Identify all these plants for us here. I, that. I don't know how. What is the name? That that's Miluna. Okay, there's one. Yeah. Baluna, Gibra, cardboard. Cardboard? Yeah. We have a black cardinal here. Oh, I want to know what is that uh, tricolor there. Oh. Now. Ooh, okay, strawberry fields forever over ah. here. <laughs> Do you want to do ride? that? We can't pick strawberries, so. How can I ride? I'm wearing a skirt. They can see my peep. Uh, <laughs> nobody's going to look but me. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's called I Love Bowl Organic Strawberry Farm. Okay, well, we're, um, e we're either too early or, or too late for strawberries. Yeah. I don't know. We say season and the maguan. Afriguari. Oh. So we're in season here, but we just we, we missed it. Ah, buntag early morning. Every morning they have harvest. Do you got Do you got one strawberry? I'll, I'll give you fifty pesos no, for yeah, it. They have here. I don't know. We can harvest yet. <laughs> you want the strawberries? Hey, die. They're yelling at you. Are they yelling at her? Yeah. Die. Die. They're yelling at you. They're yelling at you, die. <laughs> she's, she's gonna pick a strawberry. Call the police. Strawberry thief. Steal. Strawberry. How's the strawberries? Good strawberries? It would have been better that we went early morning. We might have found some strawberries here. Well, I can tell you, in Florida, they have much more impressive strawberry farms than this, at least as far as the size. But you're definitely not going to get this view. <laughs> She's determined to get herself a strawberry. Everybody's yelling at her. 
Usually she's very coy, but she loves strawberries so much. Hi. Well, we want, we want to get our 30 peso ahead uh, fees worth out of this. Well, it took us about two and a half hours to get up here. Uh, the last half hour is uh, a very windy road coming up to the peak here. All right, so they have some rooms that you can rent up here. I'll tell you one thing, you're not gonna get any fresher air than you get up here. Coffee break, that's Okay, so that's the top of the strawberry farm here. Well, we got a bonus aquarium here. Expensive flower, five thousand, six thousand, fifteen thousand. Maybe this one twenty thousand already. That's a twenty thousand. Maybe I saw, right I saw the twenty thousand. Okay, we just left the McDonald's where we had lunch, late lunch here on the Bahala Palooza tour. We're just east of the port city of Pagna going along the coastline here and we are going to find a hotel room in Onda Beach for tonight. Okay, so we made it a little bit farther towards Onda Beach here in Gwendolman. Gwendolman, Bohol. And uh, Joey has a cousin who has a house up here. She is uh, living in Iowa at the moment. One of these houses? Yeah, yeah. That's Big house. Uh, what kind of guy is he? An Americano guy of some sort? But they have hardly resident. Well, one thing I can say, uh, after driving along this coast today for several hours, is that uh, this road is really nice. Nice, smooth road. And uh, it's rather a pleasant uh, drive here on a sunny day. This is probably the worst, I picked a bad time to, to say that. This is probably the worst patch of road I've seen along here, but for the most part, it's very good. Occasional construction zone, as you see here. All right, here's the hotel that we're staying at here, the R&D, rated uh, nine out of 10 on booking.com. We'll take a further look at it when we get back from the beach here. Okay, it's late in the day here, but we have arrived at On The Beach. Hold on, the tour guide wants to wants to tell us exactly where we're at here. Okay. They call here Anda di Boracay. Anda di Boracay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so this is this is looking real good here. I'm gonna I'll maybe take a little dip here. We got a nice breeze coming in. It was a beautiful day. We drove for hours and hours, but it's better than driving around in the rain. What is that? Uh, yeah. That's a shell. Looks like a piece of a like a that's what the, no, do you remember huh? that we have five like this and small one, this one? Yeah, well, you can get them for free here. <laughs> cool, huh? <laughs> okay, we reached the end of On the Beach here and have not really found a suitable place to drink a beer. But I will just uh, show you uh, 
know how big this place is. That's one side of it. And all the way down, I see where that uh, blue building is. You can walk down that far. I'm not sure if we'll make it down there right now, but we'll uh, we'll see. Look what just rolled in. Whoa! Did you just come in naked and afraid from someplace, young lady? Really? You survived? Oh, this is the On to Food Bar, buddy. What do you know? It's the On to Food Park. Yeah. Cool. Food and beer park, I hope. Yeah. We get some drinks over there. Is it all pop? Yeah. <laughs> and we can eat here. Huh? Eat? Dinner. Dinner. Come back. Yeah. We're leaving, come back? Yeah. <laughs> now, Joey did not find her new favorite drink, which is, what, Tandaway Ice? It's like a rum spritzer, 4.5% alcohol. She looks like she drank 10 of them last night. She drank one of them. She's not a drinker, but she uh, she drank one last night and uh, I like went to bed rather happy and uh, slept like a little baby. So she's gonna get uh, a couple more for tonight, right, honey? Yeah. Give that another try? Yeah. All right, good. Find the 7-Eleven and then we'll, uh, what, what's the best restaurant here? There's like 10 restaurants here, right? Which, yeah. which one's the best one? This one. <laughs> this one. You better say that. <laughs> okay. what, what do you got that's good? What is this? What is this? Fil uh, Filipino stuff? Yes, Filipino. Okay. All right. What, what do you suggest? What's your favorite? My favorite? Yeah, your favorite. <laughs> If you were going to have dinner right now, what would you get? Sisig. Sisig. So what is that, pork? Pork. Sisig. Pork. Yeah. Okay. Yesterday, I have tasted in Palau. Uh, <laughs> she, she ate that yesterday. Uh, Sizzling. Yeah. She just had that yesterday. Okay, so we decided on, our second choice is wings. Yeah. Okay. Where does it come with? Ranch? Blue, ranch? Blue? Huh? Does it come with ranch and blue cheese and celery or what? Wings, How much is it, ma'am? Only three forty nine. Only three forty nine. Wow. You get changed for a cool thousand? <laughs> what a deal. Okay, thanks for the chicken wings. Good one. Okay. Okay, so here's our room at the R and D Travelers Inn and on the beach. And there's our lovely hostess. <laughs> Cooked us some breakfast, saved us from having to go out. Thank you much. And there's the scrap eater. All right, so here's the pool over here. Didn't get to go in it, unfortunately. After staying here just one night. Okay, we've arrived here at this uh, cave pool for the second leg of uh, the uh, Mahalapalooza today. So right now they have a little bit of road construction out here, uh, scraping away the craggle and redoing this road out here. But anyways, this is the Cabagnal cave pool. So we're gonna check that out. Okay, we're on our way to the cave pool here. It's a wonderful morning. I don't usually get out this early. It's about eight, eight o'clock or so. It's a nice breeze. This is uh, right in on the beach, this place. Okay, there's something up ahead here. We're told that we are the first tourists here. Oh, okay. 
Looks like a cave pool here. Yeah. Are you gonna go in, honey? Yeah. Are you gonna go in? No, no, no. I'm not. <laughs> easy to trip off of something and fall in there. I don't know, you know fall into water or uh, a cliff. All right. I've been summoned to the other side of the cave pool. Oh, you know all about this. Yeah. Morning. We're, we're not the first ones here. <laughs> okay, I'm going down. Luckily, a guy just told us that we can't just jump in there. Okay, we have arrived at a place called the Alicia Panoramic Park, Alicia Bahal. We drove about an hour uh, north of Onda, where we were staying by the beach there. So this place is all about hiking up this hill or mountain and getting a view of some sort. We're just starting. <laughs> and my, I can feel my butt already. Okay, we've got another five minutes here. It's been mostly downhill, but I'm sure that uh, we're going to be going uphill very quickly here. We've got a little brook at the bottom here. Kind of nice. Okay, levels out here. It's a little bit difficult uh, trying to film this when you're on a steep hill. You kind of need both hands. They've got some uh, bamboo holds that they give you. I've opted out for the stick for now. All right, we've started climbing uphill here. I'm told we're going to the top of that hill up there. If I read correctly, this is a hour-long hike here. Well, I've been wanting to get in shape. I don't know. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger, I hope. All right, well, we still got a ways to go here. I'm getting a little bit winded here. We're going to stop for a couple minutes before I flop over and faint. Okay, anyways, we're, we're here at the Alicia, Alicia Park. Alicia what park? Panoramic Park. Panoramic, Panoramic park. park. And this is our guide here today. What's your name? Panio Panio. Panio Panio. Okay, Panio Panio is showing us around here. Uh, he has not had any heavy breaths here like me on the way up here. I wonder why. You do this how many times a day? You go up and down this? Three times. Three times a day. Three times a day. I could use that. And maybe I'd be in shape. <laughs> but I haven't done anything like this in a long, long time. Anyways, this is the... I hope I'm not shaking the camera too much. I'm trying to hold it still. Okay. 
Okay, so we'll go the rest of the way and see what else we can see. Okay, well, 64 and out of shape is about the same as 32 and out of shape. She wanted, she insisted on stopping right here. I was gonna keep going, but probably not from very far. The dog knows when to stop. That is our tour guide, the dog. All right. Hi. We still have a ways to go, but someone out of the group has insisted that we turn around. And that person is, who wants to, who wants to go back right now? Me. Okay. Let it be known it wasn't me, but it probably, it probably would have, it probably would have been. So, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know how much better the view is going to be from up there, but that's that's where we're trying to go. But it's uh, it's, it's so hot, and uh, we're both kind of dying here. So I, I don't know, the chance of me making it completely up there is uh, is pretty faint <laughs> as I feel right now. Okay, well, thank God I see the road ahead here. Yes, it was an arduous journey just to make it halfway or something like that up that thing uh, in the heat of the day. I'll give you the time here in a second, but uh, and it's hot enough to uh, make it a deal killer for Jovi and I. You want some buku? <laughs> buku? I thought buku was like it's mixed with coconut. That's just that's just coconut milk. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have some electrolytes. Okay, so we're on our way to uh, the uh, last leg of part one of Mahalapalooza here at a place called Can Manted Falls in Kandahai, Mahal. And so we've pulled out to the side of the road because we can see the falls from up here. So that's where we're headed, to the waterfall over there. Okay, we are at the Canamented. Is that how you say this? Canamented. Canamented Falls. We have to take a motorbike, unless you want to walk 1.3 kilometers down to the falls, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to get on the motorbike. Yeah. These pegs here. Okay, I got my own pegs. Go. Beautiful. Okay. All right. It's the only way to go. Best hundred I'll spend today here. Where are you from, sir? Well, I'm from USA. USA. Yeah, right. Come on, hang on. Where's the hang on? Hold it. Nice, smooth, smooth, right? Nice. Yeah. Waterfall in Bahal, right? Yeah. Biggest, highest, best. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Enjoy. Can we give you your hundred now? Later. Later? Later? You're gonna come back? Yeah, they come back, sir, if you're done in the waterfall. And I call them. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Good, thank you. Can we, okay. is there swimming in there? Yes, sir, it's okay to swim. Is there a place okay. to change? Ah, uh, we have restroom there, sir. 
down there. In the Kano Mountain Falls, no restroom there. Okay. And there is a cottage. If you have towel, it's okay to change. Okay. And then from here, you walk three to five minutes going to the waterfalls, monster. Okay. And there is a guide to go with you, assist you. The guide will take picture with you. Especially you swim, the guide tells you where is the safe area you swim, sir. Your guide uh, waits you until you're done in the waterfalls. And our guide also, I know minimum rate, it's up to you how much you give to your guide. Uh -huh. okay. I hope you enjoy in the waterfalls and be careful because some areas slippery. Freeze air. What, <laughs> what if you don't swim? <laughs> okay, all right, thank you. We have a guide. Oh, yes, sir. Hello. Okay, we got motorbike guys. We got a guide guy. And what's your name? Jim. Oh boy, I got a brother named Jim. Okay, I can remember that. Jim. <laughs> All right, Jim. I. Yeah, you need to fit the ticket what, 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 first. What? Oh, 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 oh. I, I thought everything was last. There's a ticket now? I forget to collect your ticket. Oh, oh, you forgot, see? Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> because I write there in the logbook. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right. How much is it? Hey, you have, maybe you have ticket in the upstairs, sir. What, ticket? Yeah. Well, we didn't get any tickets. Ah, ma'am, what are my tickets? Ah, it's the intersection, mo Gikan? Oh, that's it. okay. Ah, we write your name, sir. I thought you came from the ticketing area. Well, I don't know. We jumped right on a motorbike and, and rode down here uh, from yeah, there. Yeah. I don't know. You're the, they, the intersection, sir? Yeah. Wow. We, don't, we don't know the arrangement, so... <laughs> Okay, well, it's uh, 60 ahead, and, uh, well, I'm not the one who uh, who missed paying for a ticket somewhere, so we just paid it over there. We're going to head down these stairs here to the falls. I hope this isn't too arduous. I was told something about 500 steps to this waterfall. Wasn't there something about 500 steps to this waterfall? I don't know. I didn't have six steps anymore. I don't see... I don't see 500. I don't know. We're, we're going to find out around this. Uh, you know what you have to say that Sorry, guy, you have, he said, uh, it's better you go Saturday or Sunday because the pulse was so strong. Oh, well. Then today, we blew that. They, have, uh, they have control the water. Oh, it's a dam. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, I don't, I don't see no 500 steps, so I'm glad about that after the last hike that we just took. Saturday and uh, Saturday and Sunday, the water is times for this one. Times for by love. Okay, folks, you heard it here. Go on a Saturday or Sunday and they release the dam. There's probably three or four times as many people also, which I gotta tell you, I haven't seen anyone here yet. What's your, what do you, you think I am? Five foot ten? Hello, good afternoon. Hi. How are you? Oh, not too bad. Hello. Hi, guys. Hey. Okay. Maybe that is the step you need to Oh, that's, that's 400 steps. Well, there are some people here. You know that, that is the 
the highest falls in Bohol. This is it, the highest fall in Bohol. Yeah. Seventy-nine meters. Seventy-nine meters. Qualifying it for the record waterfall in Baha. Yeah. And the record for the Bahala Palooza Part One Tour. Can I man said Here we are, the Anaman's Head Falls. Need help, honey? I'll call the guide. All right, Jim, our guide. What do you think of Bahal Palooza? This is the All of Bahal Tour, part one. Spectacular, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so there you go for Bahal Palooza, part one. And we concluded here at Canamented Falls in Bahal. So we covered the uh, sort of southeastern region of Bahal. And next time we're planning on going to the northern part and visiting maybe a remote island up there. So stay tuned for part two. Okay, Joey, now pretend that you're at the waterfall. Okay, you're looking straight at the waterfall. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's good, Joey. Oh, that's so nice. Oh yeah, this is going to be great. Okay. Oh yeah, just pose right there. Oh, that's perfect, Jovi. Okay. All right, yeah, we'll just set some music to this and it'll be perfect. Okay, Mike, you are in the top in the panoramic mountain. Joey are just practicing how we're going to do the scenes at the Bohala Palooza tour. Well, Mike, I got this tripod that I bought now, so I don't really need you to do the filming for us. So you're going to replace me with that little tripod? Well, yeah, Mike, that's it's called automation. Feel better if we bring you along for part two of Mahalapalooza? 
I can go with you on part two? Really? Yeah. Yeah, you can come, I promise.